Oh, right. Co confidential. Got it. <clears throat> well, you know, actually, I, I misspoke earlier because this isn't a complete stranger I'm trying to contact here. He's an old friend from school. Good question. Well, I don't know his name because I only knew him by his nickname. Uh, Shamu. We called him Shamu. He's kind of um, a big guy in high school. He slimmed down quite a bit. Uh, no, see, I, I don't have time to contact the high school alumni committee because time is of the essence. See, Shamu and I went to a liquor store after the auction and we bought a lottery ticket together and we tore it and I took half and he took half and I'll be damned if the thing didn't win. Fourteen million dollars. <laughs> really. But see, we have to claim it by 4 p.m. today or we forfeit. Uh, ah, yes. Uh, well, but there's one more thing that I forgot to tell you. See, um, my blood type is O negative and he's O negative and I have a medical condition that. Uh, all right then. <laughs> well, thank you anyway. Mm, bye. So? Yes? You ran into your old friend Shamu. Mm-hmm. And you won millions of dollars. Yep. And you need a transfusion. I'm just trying to get the name of a really cool guy I met at this auction, but they won't give it to me. Wow, that's a lot of effort. Must have been cute. And witty. You don't meet that every day. You know who would have his name? Who? Grandma. Ah, no. She only knows the biddies. She doesn't know the young ones. She knows everyone at these kinds of things. You know Grandma. I cannot ask her for this. Then kiss Shamu goodbye. But maybe you could ask her. What? Come on, ask her. Do me a favor. You want me to ask Grandma for the name of a man that I didn't meet at a function that I didn't attend? I'll share my lottery winnings with you. It's ridiculously transparent. Fourteen million dollars. But you're sharing half with him and taxes will take a huge chunk and, oh yeah, you didn't win the lottery. Ask her yourself. You're mean. Did you call information and ask them for Paddle 17's listing? What do you think of the pork, Rory? It's good. I'm not sure. Richard? It's fine. I'm not sure. It's really good, Mom. Yes, well, I'm not sure. Pork is bred leaner these days. It has a different taste. Less fat equals less flavor. Yet another example of the great advances man has made. Flavorless pork. Hurrah for the opposable thumbs. All right, enough talk about pork. Please, someone change the subject. Mom had a really good time at the auction the other day. Did you? Yes, yes, I did. Well, I'm glad. Did you see anything you liked? Yeah, Mom. Anything look good to you there? Yes, actually, I um, bought a couple of end tables for the inn. I must say I was very impressed with the selection this year. I even wound up purchasing a couple of pieces for myself. Yes. How nice to have yet another chair you can't sit in. It's 100 years old. Wonderful. We can put it next to the 200-year-old footstool you can't put your foot on. Oh, Richard, please. I'm only teasing, Emily. It is one of the great pleasures of my life to be able to surround you with a house full of useless objects. No, I'm never happier than when we're standing in the corner staring at our furniture. Eat your pork, please. You know, I believe there was something at the auction that Mom wanted, but she didn't get. Isn't that right, Mom? Oh, really? What was that? I think it was a steamer trunk for Rory to take with her to military school. Wasn't it, honey? I don't remember a steamer trunk, but I can check on it for you if you like. That's unnecessary, Mom. Uh, so, Mom, it was a very nice bunch of people you had at that auction. Yes, very nice. I was surprised at how many young people were there. I mean, you know, younger people. Um, in fact, uh, that, like, for instance, this guy that I talked to for quite a while, he was younger. What man was that? Oh, I didn't get his name, but he was a nice looking guy. He had a, a gray suit and he was paddle number 17. He likes Merlot. Are you talking about Peyton Sanders? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Wait one second. I'll look it up. Oh, no, 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 Mom, you don't have to go. She's looking it up. Paddle number 17, Peyton Sanders. Oh, great. Oh, Peyton Sanders. Well, that's great that it's Peyton Sanders, because that's a, a great. How well do you know this Peyton Sanders? Why? What? Why do you want to know how well I know Peyton Sanders? I don't want to know. I was just mentioning that he was, you know, seemed, uh, you know. Young. Yes, young. OK, Mom, uh, Peyton and I kind of hit it off. And I wondered if. You possibly had his number. OK, there I said it. Pass the flavorless pork. You're asking me for his number. If it's not a big deal, yes. Well, well, well. Richard, Lorelai's asking me for a man's number. So I heard. But if it's a big deal, forget it. It's not a big deal at all. I don't have his number. OK, then never mind. I can get his number. Would you like me to get his number? Um, It's up to you. It can't be up to me. I didn't ask for his number. You asked for his number. Therefore, it has to be up to you as to whether or not I get his number. OK, Mom. Would you like me to get his number? Yes, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Thank you. You're welcome. I wasn't kidding about that military school. <laughs>